Art House's annual Oscars party this Sunday here at the Babcock has been a date circled on members' calendars for months, and one vote in particular will have all eyes watching to see if Montanan Lily Gladstone will be the first Native American to win an Academy Acting Award, but she wouldn't be the first on stage. 51 years ago at the 1973 Oscars, Marlon Brando was honored with the award for Best Actor in The Godfather. Marlon Brando. In a powerful move, Sasheen Littlefeather, an Apache woman, spoke on his behalf, rejecting the award due to the way Native Americans were treated in film and media. But he re very regretfully cannot accept this very generous award. Littlefeather was met with anger and booze from the crowd. Excuse me. As the president of the National Native American Affirmative Image Committee, Littlefeather spoke about hopes for the future. In the future, our hearts and our understandings will meet with love and generosity. Now, five decades later, Not only am I stepping out right now, but I'm stepping out in community of so many other people that are just popping off. Lily Gladstone is making history as the first Native American woman to be nominated in the Best Actress category, recognized for her performance in Martin Scorsese's Killers of the Flower Moon. It's a lot of spotlight and it's a lot of attention for one person to carry. It's a lot of representation to fall on one person. Born and raised in Browning, Gladstone grew up on the Blackfeet Indian Reservation and graduated from the University of Montana. She was the first Indigenous person to receive a Golden Globe this January. She was praised following her Golden Globe's acceptance speech, in which she spoke her native language and gave a shout out to every little res kid. I had no idea the kind of impact it would have to just do the bare minimum of language that I could. It is pretty remarkable that 50 years ago was that moment, you know, that first call out of how Natives are represented in the media. You know, I've kind of joked for years, just like, if that ever happens to me, maybe I'll like send Marlon Brando's kids up on stage to accept for me or something, <laughs> except on behalf of Brando. She says the recognition is a win in itself and hopes it's just the start for Indigenous actors. It is another huge milestone in history to even have this nomination. I'm carrying this nomination right now, whatever comes out of March 10th, um, whatever happens that day, it's already a win. All of you Native kids just who have a spark and an interest in this, it's like, you know, really, you're next. <laughs> in Billings, Kelsey Boggs, MTN News.